In this video, we will show you how to set the drive ATV212 drive, to be more exact, to have an automatic restart functionality. Now, from your main display, um, I want to mention a couple of things before we go forward here. For the drive to perform an automatic restart, you have to be in a two-wire control, meaning you have a drive contact closure between your F and P24 source. Your automatic restart function has to be turned on. That's the next thing that has to happen. And whatever fault that the drive experienced or if there's a power outage in the first place, that particular condition has to go away and the drive will have to see that you are ready to run at the moment that it can restart your particular drive. So to set this function up in terms of the fault reset, oh, not the fault reset, but the um, automatic restart functionality, you have to press the mode until you see AUF. And now you want to have to go ahead and arrow down into F as in Frank, dash, 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 enter. Now the parameter itself for the automatic restart is F303. So let's go there. You can choose to go ahead and hit the up and hold it to go there faster. All right, so F303, on this particular the drive is currently set to zero. Now you have a couple of options here on what to set this value to. Of course, zero means that your automatic restart is turned off. And the next values you can program this to are numbered from one through 10, meaning that is the number of attempts the drive is going to perform before it basically gives up trying to restart. So you can choose to hit the up or down depending on what value you like. Let's just say we're going to make it 10 values for 10 restart tries. Make sure you press enter to save that. Um, so about this particular function, keep in mind that just because you make it 10 restarts doesn't mean it's going to continue to try to restart, meaning it's not going to fail, restart, fail, restart, fail, restart over and over again. If it fails once, between the first attempt to the second attempt, there will be a small amount of gap, about a second or so. But the more attempts it tries, it's going to have a more of a time delay. So it's about a second more for each delay. So meaning if I attempted number one, it failed, it'll have a one second delay. The second attempt, it failed. There'll be a two second delay before it tries again. Three for three seconds, so on and so forth. So if you want to see the full list of these times, which is one through 10 seconds, and what actually is considered as a fault reset and what a fault reset does, please refer to your ATV212 programming manual. One last thing I want to mention here is not every single fault can be fault reset or automatically reset here. Some faults require the actual physical power cycling over the drive, meaning you have to kill power to the drive completely and then power it back up to allow it to run again. And of course, as I mentioned before, you're run if, if the fault can be cleared automatically and if the fault condition has gone away, and as long as your F303 is programmed correctly to the value you want, besides zero, and of course as long as your run command is still present when all these conditions are met, then it will perform your automatic restart. So I just want to clarify again that make sure you look at the list under the 212 programming manual in regards to what faults can be reset automatically and what faults cannot be. And this is basically how you program an ATV212 drive with a automatic restart functionality.